what are the steps? If you're an organization, what are the steps to digital transformation? Step number one, admit you have a problem. What is my problem? It's all the same. I'm wasting money. I'm not efficient. I am stepping over $100 bills to pick up pennies, in a nutshell, okay? Step number two, brainstorm a solution. What does that mean? Sit down in a room with a whiteboard and some markers and draw out what the ideal business model is. Don't build a business model, a new business model, based on what you know. Base it on your dreams. Sketch out what is the most optimal business model we could have. If I'm looking at my operational processes, don't sketch them out based on the technologies that you are aware of. Put your dream on the board. That is brainstorming your solution. Why do we do it that way? Because the answer is, you can do this. You can do your dream. That's what Industry 4.0 makes a reality. You can do your dream. During Industry 3.0, your dream was possible, but it was a function of time and money. It took too much time, it cost way too much money. The fundamental difference between Industry 3.0 and Industry 4.0 as it comes with respect to time and money is that it takes a lot less time and it takes half as much money. Still, still expensive by scale, but it's still half as much as what it would have cost in Industry 3.0. You have executives in large organizations who came up over the last 30 years who are making decisions based on what they learned 30 years ago and none of those rules apply today. So stop, brainstorm your solution and make it your dream, your dream organization, okay? Step number three, get help, get help, okay? I am not the only systems architect on the planet. There are a lot of them, okay? But you need someone like me. If you're a large organization, you need a Walker Reynolds and there's lots of them out there, okay? And part of what 4.0 Solutions is gonna do is we're gonna recommend those people based on what your needs are. Based on our experience over 20 years in industry, we have a long list of people that we have identified. This guy is your architect for pharmaceutical companies. This guy is your food and bev guy. This is your automotive guy. Here is your ERP and machine learning guy. These are those systems architects. You need to get help. Here's something I can guarantee you. You cannot do it alone. You gotta get help, okay? Number four, work together. You're gonna get help, you're gonna get a systems architect, and then you are going to work together to architect your dream. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take that dream, you're gonna work with somebody, you're gonna work together, and you're gonna architect that dream. Those are the steps to digital transformation. If you're an executive, and I'm breaking it down for how the executive is supposed to be thinking, this is how they're supposed to be thinking. What Forbes wrote in that magazine applies to one one thousandth of one percent of all the people in the marketplace. It doesn't answer any questions. This tells you all the fundamental things. You have a problem and you haven't admitted it yet. You've read IIoT, you've read Digital Factory. The only reason you're paying any attention to it is because you're afraid someone else is gonna leverage it and it's gonna push you out of the market. But you still haven't admitted you have a problem. You gotta admit you have a problem. You are wasting money and you are not efficient. Number two, you gotta brainstorm a solution. What is my perfect business? What would it look like? If I'm the CEO of a large Fortune 500 company, uh, a Fortune 500 manufacturer, what would the perfect business look like? What would the perfect operations look like? What would my perfect day be? Brainstorm it, put that on paper. Then go get your architect. Then get in a room with all your smart people, your director of technology, your VP of technology, your IT managers, your IT and your OT people. You put them in a room, you work together, and you architect that dream at a high level. Here's what it's gonna look like. Here is, here's where it is at level five in the stack. This, these are the things I wanna have happening. Here's what's happening in level four, in level three, in level two, in level one. Architect the solution. Those are your steps to digital transformation, okay? What people really wanna see you know, what everyone's asking for, what everyone has messaged us about in the last month is they want to say, Walker, teach me how to take Ignition Edge, a Wago PLC, an Easy Logix, a BB SmartWorks smart device, an Alexis Gateway, an Alexis Z4, and this goes to all my old stuff, and Ignition Edge, and a Wago PLC, and Easy Logix, BB SmartWorks, and a list of 100 other manufacturers that support IIoT protocols, and connect all of those to my MQTT broker. And this could be, in this case, let's say we're using Chariot, okay? Using Chariot SCADA, which is made by Cirrus And we have a redundant environment where I've got Ignition as my backup, okay? I've got an Ignition as my backup. I've created this IIoT ecosystem, and then I have my machine learning, ERP, 
MES, SCADA, uh, HMI, all subscribing from that ecosystem. Show me how to do that, Walker. Well, in order for me to show you how to do that, I gotta change the way you think. And that's the whole reason that we're going through this series. There's no way for me to just lay out this architecture, just throw it out there. And if the mindset isn't right, have it resonate. There's no way. We're gonna get to this part. We're gonna show you how to configure Ignition Edge. We're gonna show you how to use Wago's MQTT library in their CodeAssist package. We're gonna show you how to set up Easy Logics. We're gonna show you how to use BNB Smart Work Solution. We're gonna show you, I felt bad for doing this, for not doing Opto 22's Groove or Maple Systems, or Canary Labs, or Flow Software, or Factory Studio, or all of these other solutions that are out there, how to use Tossybox as your VPN solution here in the center, so that then I can access the ecosystem remotely over VPN using Tossybox. We're gonna show you how to do all those things. But the first thing we're gonna do is change the way you think. Whether you're an engineer, whether you are a supervisor, whether you are an operations boss, whether you are a VP of technology, whether you're the CEO of the company, the first thing you have to do is transform the way you think. And we do that as an organization when we bring people in. We go through this 10 step process to transform the way that they view their job. And part of what we're doing in this video series without anyone knowing it, is we're taking you through those first couple of steps. And the people who are standing around once we get through step three or four, that's our army we're gonna use to go change the world. So we're, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get to this, but the first thing we gotta do is change the way people think. And the, way, the best way to change the way people think is we have to show them the value of thinking a new way.